So in 2006. Way too far back. <laughs> okay, how about now? So now my business is at a place where it's working and I want to take it to the next level. Is anything else even possible? <laughs> knowing what you now know and knowing what we we're talking about. Is it, see what we mean about the picking on part? It becomes more possible when I don't get in the way. And yeah. sometimes I get in the way yeah. with my mind thinking I need to come up with the how and yeah. come up with a business plan and be more of a businessman because I'm not really too much of a businessman. <laughs> <laughs> we've noticed as we've looked around your planet at people and we've seen all of them. <laughs> we've noticed that some of the most fundamentally sound and extraordinarily evolved ideas come from unlikely places in those senses you're arguing for limitations because what you just said is I would like it to go better but I understand why it doesn't because I'm not prepared for it to go better and there are a lot of ways of saying that just stop saying it if you could just tell us the part of it that feels good when you tell it and leave out the part that doesn't feel so good then the momentum that you're wanting would happen we're going to give you an opportunity to speak here and we will guide you in response to what we hear from you because we're not saying to you you need to already be there and you should know all of this this is what this is all about it's practicing yourself into the vibrational frequency that allows the very thing that you're asking for and sometimes a little broader point of view can help you in the movement of some of your beliefs and we've written many books and filled them full of processes with that in mind we just want you to hear us today when we say while that is a way of going about it there is an easier way of going about it that begins with wobble free concepts and this is a hard thing to get across to many of you yeah. it just doesn't feel logical to you in other words it feels logical that i could be happy and be a really good businessman and really succeed but it doesn't feel logical that i could be happy and succeed and it isn't logical that you could right. be happy and think that you're not a good businessman you're throwing that resistance on your own trail so let's see just for fun if we can get the wobble out of that so start there yeah I want to do that because it's almost like my rational what I've been taught is my rational mind gets in the way well you know? what if your rational mind rather than getting in the way enhanced your way what if you used your rational mind for good? <laughs> Which many would call an irrational mind. They would say it's <laughs> irrational to not weigh the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses. It's irrational to just think about what you want. Right. And we say, well, then let's be irrational and aligned. Yeah. So just talk to us about what you want and describe it as you see it and and we will see if we can de-wobble the conversation what i want is i'm able to train people i train life coaches and i'm also able to work with people to transform them in terms of getting them out of their story and having a life that really works so i want to just take this work into the world and i really feel i've got something but then i i keep well, that other some... thought going well I can't do it because I'm not doing a business plan do you find that it's easier to help them with their story than it is to help yourself with your own story? <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and why do you think that is why is it easier for you to help them with their story than to modify your own well actually it's been why is it easier to help it's someone been a transition else? for me why I... is it easier for you to help them <laughs> because you haven't practiced their story you haven't practiced the wobble in their story they try to give it to you but you can't take it all in you didn't get it incrementally you didn't practice the beliefs of their wobbles and so it's really easy for you to help them with a new story but your story is you could improve on your story you could improve on your story a lot 
you could tell a whole different story but do you believe that you have to be completely transparent as you tell your story because you see we think that's what's tripping so many of you up you want to explain the difficulties of it as if that puts you in a stronger place of asking right now but you've already done all of the asking so how could you put yourself right here and now with your story in the place of most receiving and let's be clear about what it is that you are most wanting to receive a good feeling as you tell the story so tell us your story in the same way that you would guide others to tell their story if I were to do that since I'm going to do that now Abraham <laughs> My story is that I have an escrow account that I've um, been living this. All right, so don't justify to us. Just make that as simple as a statement as you can. Break it down and make it really simple. I'm an unlimited being. I feel good and I'm an unlimited being and I deserve to have what I want to have and I deserve to make a difference. All right, well, that word deserve is really loaded. <laughs> That's a loaded word. I deserve what I have not yet realized in some way. I am realizing. Well, here's the thing. The universe doesn't hear what you say. The universe hears here's what, what you, you mean. What I feel. Because the universe hears your vibration. And don't worry about it because you're not going to get where you want to be ultimately in this brief conversation. We're not asking you to give us the perfect words. Really, right. all we want to do is just find a little less wobble in your story right. because we know that you have really solid things about your story that if you would tell them and tell them to us now it would serve you so well it would begin a positive momentum simple things now what wobble free is is something that's sort of kind of goes along with the desires that you hold because your desires are pulsing. Oh, the desire that is swirling around you is really, really big. It's magnificent to see. So the desire that you hold is really, really big. What we're asking from you right here and now are some words that go along with that desire that don't hinder it, that don't try to explain anything, that don't try to justify anything or rationalize anything. They go along with the desire that you hold simple things and here's the key simple things that you already believe wobble free good feeling things that you already believe about you and your story I feel good first then I take inspired action all right so that's a good concept and it's certainly what we want you all to come to it doesn't exactly apply right here and now giving the beating up that we've just been doing on you we've made you a little self-conscious and you're thinking about where you want to go and your questions are more active in your vibration than your receptiveness of your answer and that's so normal under these conditions so we're just gonna ramble here sort of meaninglessly and aimlessly here for a little bit till you just sort of settle down into things that you know about you relative to that what I know is that sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. All right, that's all right, isn't that's it? That's what I know. And that's a good statement. That's the first statement you've made since you sat down that is exactly the vibration that you're offering. Yeah. That's exactly the vibration that you're offering to the universe. I'm good at this sometimes. Yeah. We left a little bit of your story off that you put in just now. We just told the part that really resonates with the story that you're really wanting to tell with the true story we just tell the parts of the story that are really true you're good at this you're good at this that's really true you told yeah you keep telling that other version that's not as true <laughs> because you're telling the version about what has been we're telling the version about what, what is. is you see so you keep wanting to explain it more fully and you know why because you've had people around you your whole life that have been standing back and looking at the results of your life experience just looking at you looking at you and taking score looking at you and taking score and you think you've got to be candid with them because you sure don't want them to catch you in a half truth but we do we want you to only tell it as we know it to be you're good at this and getting better at it and it's easier all the time and some things are easier to understand than others and you really understand the concepts and you are a fantastic coach 
And you are so good when you talk with other people about it because their wobble is irrelevant to you. You don't know enough about them. You're just reflecting back to them the truths that you're feeling in this moment. Their past experience isn't so active in your vibration as your past experience. Your past experience is fading the parts of it that aren't helpful. Oh, there's a lot of your past experience that's really helpful. You bring pieces into that all the time. You're really good at this and getting better at it every day. And the evidence to reflect how well you're doing is showing up all over the place. And when it's just you and the evidence, you recognize it more and more. Sometimes in an effort to explain it to others who aren't ready, you sort of shoot yourself in the foot. Can you feel the difference between some people that are so hungry and ready that everything you say, you can feel them taking it in. And sometimes you can tell they're just not having any of it. They don't believe what you're saying about right. them. They really don't think it's going to happen. And so what you want to do for a little while, just at least for the rest of this day, be your own best client. Just have a conversation with yourself about what you want. So we have some questions for you and don't think about them. Just answer them from the vibrational pattern that you've now established. We're just going to throw some questions to you and okay. just be as brief and quick in your response as you can. Okay. Do you think that law of attraction is the most important thing afoot in all of this conversation? At times. <laughs> <laughs> at times in terms of me integrating it into my life do I think yes to my intellect yes your response is full of information so we're gonna ask you another question okay <laughs> did you go to school about how to effectively utilize gravity yes you did I learned the law of gravity was there a class? No. So no one said, all right, now this is important. If you drop that, it's going to go down. It's not going to go up. So prepare. <laughs> exactly. prepare exactly your... what I teach my students. Pre I do the same thing. Really? You drop it in the same way. Yeah. But it's like, like I said, at times I'm really with it and at times I'm not. It's just because I've learned this other. All right. So you believe that gravity responds. Correct. Same. Law of attraction does too. Yes, I know. So when you tell a story that says, sometimes I do a good job at this and sometimes <laughs> I don't, right. it's like you're deliberately introducing the wobble into the conversation. Universe, I know that you know that there's a whole lot of things I want and I know you've <laughs> got them all lined up for me, but I want you to know that I'm not going to make it easy because I really don't feel <laughs> deserving of all of that good stuff. And the reason I know I'm not deserving is because it's not coming to me quickly. And I think I figured out why it's not coming to me quickly. I'm not very good at this yet. Sometimes I'm good at it and sometimes I'm not good at it. So you guys just keep lining things up and get it all in the vortex. And sometimes when I'm not paying attention to what I'm saying, yeah. you can just slip it through the crack for me. <laughs> and I'll meditate as much as I can and I'll sleep a lot and I'll try to be distracted from the crappy job I'm doing with things. But I just want to be completely candid with you. I'm not very good at this. And so I know there's a lot of things in my vibrational vortex that I'm just not going to realize anytime soon. Because sometimes I'm good at it and sometimes I'm not good at it. Mostly I'm not that very good at it. I would like to be better at it, but I'm not that good at it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not that good at it. Some people are better at it than I am. <laughs> and there have been little snatches in my life when I was a little better at it than others, but mostly I'm just not that good at it. I'm actually surprised that I'm as successful as I am. <laughs> I must have done something really good in a past life because <laughs> I'm really successful. Things happen well for me, but I've got this shoot myself in my own foot thing going on. And so I don't expect big things. I want big things. I want big things universe. I want really big things. Here's my list, but I don't expect any of them to come because Sometimes. Because, because <laughs> exactly. On and off. So we exaggerated that a little tiny bit. <laughs> Just a little tiny bit. And you're really on the right track as you are coaching people to tell a different story. You've just got to tell the story in a way that you believe.